Hey folks, welcome back to McCord's Gardens here in beautiful Provo, Utah, the heart of the Rockies. Plant Boss here giving you the top three things you need to be doing in your yard right now, starting today while we still got some beautiful sunny weather going on. Remember, the temperatures are cold at night, but during the day, they're warm enough to have some of those early spring plantings going on. First thing that you should be doing for the yard right now is focusing on your lawn. If you're participating in a four-step program, then right now you need to put down step number one. That's going to get some early fertilizer, a good quality one that's usually right around 15, 15, 15 for your lawn and getting that green into the grass as well as preemptive weed control. You'll also get some of that in your step one to get rid of those seeds that are laying around from last year's weeds. So remember, step one right now, spread it on the lawn. Second thing that you should be focusing right on right now is prepping the soil for the gardens to come. So it's time to put down your compost, your peat moss, all of those uh, natural uh, amendments to the soil, as well as if you're not only into natural gardening, a few chemical things to boost that uh, fertilized soil in to the plants. So right now is a good time to also put in the garden a fertilizer that again is around 15, 15, 15 right across the board, something general that just gets things going. Third thing you can be doing right now, and this is the most exciting to give us hope for warmer weather, is to plant those early spring plantings. So let me show you a few early spring flowers that'll do great in the yard right now. Follow me, folks. Right over here, number one, early spring primroses. Absolutely beautiful pops of color in the garden. It will make your neighbors stop and look at your yard and give your house some great curb appeal, especially if you're trying to sell here in early spring. Another wonderful flower is the ranunculus. Ranunculus look just like roses to me, and so I always like to call them the rose plant. But plant these and you'll get some beautiful, large, very, very full flowers in that garden that'll give some pop and also you'll be, give you the, to be the talk of the neighborhood. Well, final flower really quick, the old reliable pansies and violas. Look at these beautiful blues and purples that we've got with some awesome popping oranges and yellows. These are the standby for early spring. Pansies are absolutely amazing. But when these pansies start to get a little bit leggy, their parent plant, the viola, is still going strong. So, if you like to have a longer bloom cycle for some early spring flowers, plant some violas in amongst the pansies. These wonderful things that are also called Johnny Jump Ups will also add that color that you need and get people to stop and look. Okay, those are my top three for right now. But remember, subscribe to our videos below so you can find out what the next thing you're going to be doing for spring is. Thank you for joining me. This is the Plant Boss signing off for now.